previous episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! They called film Whoa. little pieces what of What the time. fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Welcome back to Let's Play Life is Strange. This is episode 5, part 5, episode 2. Being a superhero is dirty work. I need a shower. No. No. I get that it's early, Max. Okay, Max. Come on. Let's hit the showers now. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. Before we do anything else, let's uh, let's see what pictures we have to take. Is that a carrot? Well, fire walk with me. Donut and a squirrel? Dog bone? Okay. Well, let's go then. Gordon, seriously? Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it, consider it done. Ow! Let's see if we can warn her. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. So on it, consider it done. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. This is going to be a running event, isn't it? Oh, 
Oh, uh, hey, Kate. Sorry about yesterday. Yeah, I'm sorry you didn't do anything to help. But you're just like everybody else here. It's not true. I wanted to help, but... But... Whatever. It's done. By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of The October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Aw, how polite. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate, or Max. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. I, can't believe I better she get dressed and go give back Kate's book. I can't believe they call she calls her she calls them her minions to their faces. Also, who writes URLs out like that? Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. I see Chloe's been here. Sorry, I forgot. Usually a place like this would... You'd have individual hot water running. Otherwise that would just burn through it so quickly. This all seems so petty. See, we need to get Kate's video. Uh, what is the point of that?
No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Oh shit, Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. somewhere yeah let's look my to desk a is a pigsty but I know it ain't there <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book Better fix this fast. Kate needs the book, and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. You can undo any event you want onto in recent history and you use it specifically to prevent a single book from getting wet. Well, I guess it's still alive. Wait, there was another one. No. Oh shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. What a supportive mother. Daughter's being treated like this and we hope you haven't brought shame on you or our family. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Given what we heard from Chloe, I have an idea of what happened. Which just makes this even worse. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. 
Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Kate really has a doting father. That is good that he's supportive. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Ooh, rabbit. I wonder what Kate thinks of that. She's doing this poorly and somebody stops just to take a picture of her rabbit. Ouch. She left out amnation. Ugh. Good lord. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. Oh, it's not that we can Almost take forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Um, uh, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why didn't you do anything when David harassed me yesterday? I wanted proof David was in your face. I thought he was different. I'm happy to see that somebody cares. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. No, not at all. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. First off, that's not that bad. Second, the part where she can't remember any of it, that's really bad. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Okay. Nathan Prescott? Oh shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... Are you sure? Of course. You think I'm making this crap up. Why? No, I'm just being deductive, as usual. Then what happened? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. 
That went pretty well. Wait, did we put her book there? I'm going to assume we did. Oh, nope. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Hmm. Well, let's try to go to the police, see how that works. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police, and also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal, after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. So long as they don't think that we actually saw something, it should be fine on that front. Hmm. I get the feeling telling her to look for proof probably won't really help given the state she's in. I think we can go with this. Let's see. Oh. I'm with Chloe on this. The emoji really is not necessary. Let's see what we're supposed to see next for pictures. I'm guessing that's going to be the diner. Oh, can we talk to her? Hi, Dana. How are you? Much better than yesterday. I'm glad we talked. Me too. I know it's good to just talk about this stuff. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything anyway. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch worn. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Also, <laughs> shindig? <laughs> Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Mm-hmm. Oh, Juliet's here. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touché. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. 
What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. I guess we managed to do some good then. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Mm, yeah, okay. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. <laughs> Clearly not a morning person. Okay. Well, that's probably going to be where we call it for today then. We'll be heading to Two Whales next time. Thank you for watching.